In this video, we'll look at the worst habits that could ruin your well-deserved night of rest and relaxation. Experts agree that sleep is important for physical and mental health on many levels. It facilitates not just restoration, but also the execution of critical metabolic processes in the body. If you can't find the answer to so many sleepless nights, here you can find the answer. So watch this video until the end to learn all the four bad night habits that ruin your sleep. Number one, stop taking caffeine and nicotine, which is a dangerous combination. The aroma of freshly ground coffee is a fantastic smell to wake up in the morning. You may safely drink up to two cups of tea per day with no ill effects. The issue emerges when you have more than six cups, the last of which is usually consumed with supper. Caffeine has a time limit in the body. It can take up to six hours for the body to drain out even half of the caffeine that has already been consumed. Caffeine in its many forms, coffee, tea, Coca-Cola, may disrupt sleep in those who drink large amounts of it. As a result, you should abstain from coffee at least six hours before bedtime. Some individuals can fall asleep with coffee racing through their veins, but this is only because they have built an extremely high resistance to its effects. Caffeine makes these people more awake and makes their sleep more shallow. Since 2006, American military meals have included chewing gum with 100 milligrams of caffeine to combat sleepiness. The French Air Force uses caffeine pills that gradually deliver the stimulant. Your sleepless nights are doubled if you combine coffee with smoking. Many smokers report having trouble sleeping since most of the nicotine in cigarettes also acts as a stimulant as well. Number two. An overfull bladder with an unscheduled awakening. Even while being hydrated is crucial, it's best to avoid drinking too much water just before bed to avoid getting up many times during the night. To avoid getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, you should avoid drinking anything for at least an hour and a half before bed. Don't forget to use the restroom before turning in for the night. Many individuals consume alcohol because they know it will put them to sleep. While it's true that alcohol may help you nod off more quickly, it also reduces the quality of your sleep, as proven by the fact that you'll feel overly exhausted the next day even if you had a good night's sleep. The more you drink before bedtime, the less likely you are to enter the sleep phase of sleep. Some studies have even shown a correlation between drinking and trouble sleeping. Furthermore, alcohol is a diuretic and may result in nighttime toilet visits. Intoxication may cause you to nod off more quickly, but the quality of your sleep suffers, and you may find yourself awakened by the alarm clock. You might feel calmer after drinking, but your sleep will be worse because of it. And drinking can disrupt not only your sleep, but also some of your body's most important functions and cause erectile problems. If you want to know for sure, take our short quiz in the description and you'll have the answer in less than five minutes. Number three, cell phone overuse. It's common knowledge that using electronic gadgets in the hours before bedtime might negatively affect our health. There are only two ways in which they might conflict with one another. For starters, they increase activity. Curling up on the couch with a good show at night might sound restful, but it isn't. It is advised that you substitute stressful activities like watching YouTube or Netflix on your phone with more relaxing ones like reading, playing specific mental games, not on screens like puzzles, crosswords, chess, or just listening to music or the radio, meditating, writing. For another, the well-known phenomenon of electronic gadgets is not exactly kind to our natural sleep-wake cycles. This blue light is debilitating because it is so similar to daylight. Since our bodies will be fooled into believing it is still daylight, melatonin synthesis will be a result. But without this vital melatonin, you'll flip and turn all night long. If you're having trouble drifting off, there's nothing you can talk about since there's no TV and much less in the bedroom, phone, or internet after dark. Use a blue light filtering program on a computer 
or the Twilight app on a smartphone to reduce the amount of harmful blue light you're exposed to while working. Blue light filtering glasses are another option for those concerned about exposing their eyes. Two hours before bedtime is the very worst time to look at a screen. Then let there be light and sleep. It's not only blue light that's bad for your Z's. Any light, particularly one that's really bright, may trick your brain into thinking it's daytime instead of nighttime. Only the sun provided illumination for our forefathers and mothers. Both artificial and natural light continually trick our bodies, yet it didn't stop the fact that electricity was invented. The time of exposure to artificial light rather than the light itself is the issue. The lights should be turned off for at least two hours before sleeping. All black. You should instead make use of lights that provide less light, such as dawn simulator alarm clocks or soothing salt lamps. Another option is to switch to red colored light bulbs. This is because the color red, for example, does not suppress melatonin synthesis. A smart light bulb like the Philips Hue can be placed and then controlled via a smartphone app to emit any hue of light. If you've been lying in bed for over 20 minutes, trying to no avail and feeling irritated, it's time to grab some fresh air and try again. There's no use lying in bed thinking about how early you have to wake up tomorrow to give a presentation you haven't prepared for, pick up the kids from school, and so on if it's making you restless and scared. The opposite is true. Worry prevents you from sleeping well. Try some deep breathing exercises in the comfort of your living room or any other quiet spot in the home. Number four, an uncontrollable buzzer. The infuriating buzzer that rudely awakens you. One of the most common causes of morning exhaustion is the alarm clock. On average, each of your sleep cycles lasts about 90 minutes. The main benefit of waking up naturally is that the sleep cycle is usually complete by the time you do. The worst thing that could happen is for your alarm clock to go off and you would be exhausted the next day unless it happens to coincide with the conclusion of your sleep cycle. The alternative is to use a dawn simulator alarm clock which progressively simulates the sun's rays with comparable light to induce the production of cortisol which tells the body it's time to get up rather than dragging you out of bed with an alarm. The awakening is soft and pleasant and the cycle is not broken suddenly. So always look for a soft landing to wake up and not a rude awakening because it could mess up your cycle. Sleep is crucial and the best way is always to enter and get out of it in a smooth way that could guarantee a well rested night. In a perfect world, we wouldn't need alarm clocks to get up and about, but for most of us, that's a luxury we can't afford.